So I'm preparing for a print bazaar local to me here. And when I participate in the print bazaar, I do these eight inch color studies. You've seen these on my Finish It Up Friday when I've given them away. And I like to make these into bundles, like sets of seven, um, to make like a meditation package for people. Um, I also have a little assistant over here who has busy hands and that's gonna help me get all my paper prepared. And we're also going to be making um, cards. So, <laughs> so I will be, but I don't have to do anything for these. I will just, the cards are ready. The only thing that we actually have to do is fold them when it becomes that time. Um, and then I have some clear, eco-friendly um, covers here that will go over the prints like you see these are in a print um, and then I also print off print print print, print. <laughs> I print off um, what each color can help you with or um, that you can focus on during your meditations or if you just like the color and for it to brighten up your room you can use um, these this color card and kind of follow these guidelines like yellow is um, your inner child, your creativity, and I believe, yeah, and it also helps with mental stimulation. And we definitely need a lot of stimulation because I will be making a lot, we will be making a lot of prints. Thanks, buddy. Um, so for now, the cards are okay. My main focus right now, oh, also, the cards are going to have the here covers also. I'm just waiting for those to come in through the mail. These got here before the other ones. Alright, so a lot of paper here. And the first goal, you can open your book. <laughs> the first thing that we have to do, this is my color here. We have to take all of these are on edges. So we have to take all of these off of the edges. So that's our first first step. It's gorilla tube, so it's supposed to be strong. Okay. Thank you. And I take one of these and I put it in the center. And I make sure that this is out to eight inches. This is a circle cutter. And I press firmly into the center. here so this won't wiggle as much. And I line it right towards the edge and I press it down firmly. Once it's down firmly, then I can take out my circle. And this is what I'm going to set to the side and I'll paint these later.
Um, we have a hundred of these and I need to divide that equally into sevens. So that's about 14 sets. So I need about 14 pieces of paper, right? 14, 14 of these. So I need 14 red, 14 orange, 14 yellow, etc. Give me about half. You want to do this with me? Yeah. Okay. So this is watercolor paper that I that we sat here and cut out these eight-inch circles on. And I use this watercolor. This is actually a gouache. Um, and I'm just going to put a little dab. Well, it just popped right out of there. It's ready to be used. I'm going to use a little dab of red. And then, <laughs> and I'm going to dip my brush into my water. And um, I'm just going to use a little bit and just kind of free flow light and dark. And I like making circles and I just kind of just do it. Yeah, you can just go for it. Also, if you watch my Mix It Up Monday videos, I go over about 17 colors with you and what exactly 17 colors with you um, and how to mix them and what um, what their energe energetic purpose can do to help you in your day-to-day -day life, like how red can again help empower you. Um, you're going in for a job interview or you need to ask for a raise. Um, you can focus on red, meditate with your color card of red, um, set your intention and what you're really wanting, what, is, what it's going to do for you. Um, maybe wear a little pop of red. If you don't like wearing red, maybe bring something like a red stone with you, or a little, even a little red piece of paper um, to help you stay focused on what your intentions are. Pressing the 14 red. Uh, sometimes when they're wet, they start kind of shaping a little. Um, so I put a little book on them for the weight. But once I actually get them inside of the packaging with the backboard, um, mix them firm and they stay conditioned to stay flat until you want to take them out and put them in a picture frame. Um, so while that's happening, I am going to work on these um, cards, and they can be greeting cards, or special note cards. Um, there's 40 cards, so I can do five sets of seven, so I'll need one, two, I will need five cards, so that means five, five red ones. So I'll make a circle here, the print is I use mason jars to paint out of, so I just clean one up and I'll put paint on the brim of my paint jar and I'll press it down and that's my print. And you can focus on the inner circles while doing breath work or um, if you want to do eye exercises, you can go around the circle one way with your eyes and follow the circle the other way with your eye. You can also do breath work where you inhale pulling from the center of the circle and exhale letting all the energy flow out of the circle. Just a few ways to use the cards. For the meditation cards and the greeting cards, really they're just aesthetically really nice. Take my color study that I did. So 
my attention's on there. I have the, um, we focused on um, energizing money and fire of life, courage, passion, it is um, grounding into Mother Earth. Um, again, if you want to learn more about colors specifically, I have in my Mix It Up Monday how to mix colors, except for my primary one. Um, but I have my primary colors there. I have um, what each intention is for each color. And I have about 17 colors, or 17 colors exactly, um, that you can learn about. So what I'm going to do is get my brush a little damp. my brush a little damp and a little paint up there and I like I don't really water down this watercolor um, and I put it just on the edge of the jar and I have to move kind of quickly because it can dry okay oh that looks so good okay and I aim for the center Press it down. Press, 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 press. I lift it up. And there's a circle there. And this will lay out flat um, after I press it a little bit more and I actually get it into its card holder. So you see using the mason jar, I try to dip my brush into it. So I'm going to paint, paint, paint. Make sure there's a good brim on there. Go get paint. Yeah, this one's gonna be real good. Okay. Flip it over. Aim for the center. Even though I write it however I, I I'll write it this way because I, I like how it looks this way, but you can still display it either way. Um, most people don't see the back and that's okay. Um, it's up to you how you want to display the front. So I'm going to write fire of life, passion, If you want to learn again about these colors, mix it up Monday on my channel. And I'll do that over and over for each of these. I'll sign them. I'll sign these as well. Um, I like writing in the same color um, to keep it discreet. It's going to be hard to see, but I'm really not wanting my signature to interfere with anything. I'm kind of like that with all of my artwork. My signature is really discreet unless it's a buyer request, which it does happen for me to write my signature bigger or um, in a different color so that way it is more prevalent. I'll do that, but for the most part, I don't really like my signature to interfere with my artwork. Um, so it's just a thing that I have, I suppose. Um, on the back, ashley.org, if anybody wants to learn any more about me. And I'll do this over and over and over again. 
so I'll probably get a little more into the time slot because this will probably be a pretty lengthy video. There's a lot to do to get ready for a print bazaar, um, specifically well, I guess what I'm doing and everything by hand. Um, so the next color I'll most likely do is orange, as you heard my kiddo say, let's do the rainbow order and his suggestion. So I'll do orange, I'll mix my own color orange with the red, I have yellow. Um, and again, any of these colors that you want to learn how to mix, um, mix it up Monday, we'll definitely show you how to mix the color orange and the color green and violet and so on, any secondary and so forth color um, that you'll have to mix using primary. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. left over even though I did all seven so I can't math um, and I'm going to make these cards um, magenta which would be the next color if we're talking about chakras um, after violet um, which my kiddo must have foreshadowed that because he kept mentioning violet I was like I'm just gonna do seven so I'm gonna do eight for the cards I don't have enough for the circles so the circle bundles for the print bizarre that I'm doing are just gonna have the seven colors but I also have an extra crate with just individuals that I think have some magenta in there um, don't maybe I know there are fun other colors that I do like browns and blacks and turquoises etc but I don't this is the first time I've ever done these greeting cards which I thought were gonna just be seven colors, but I'm gonna, the bundles are gonna have eight now with the magenta, so that's pretty exciting. Um, and I'm just gonna package them all together um, with the violets, so the violets still out here drying. And I'm gonna work on the magenta while the violet's drying and then just packaging them all up. I'm almost done. I was done and then I had extra, and I was like, well, might as well use it, got it. So, 
after these five I'll be done and then I have to paint I got this giant display wall a local like a it's called refab where I'm from and basically it's an upcyclers dream you can go in there and find anything wood wise or old bathtubs or old cabinets it's just fun in there um and i went in there looking for wood to build a display wall for the print bazaar and he was just like you know what i actually have something you might like so i'll show you that here after i get done with this and um talk a little more about that later <laughs> something for so long you're like okay I'm getting there I'm getting there I'm getting there now I'm at the end I'm like yes yes so um, I already pre-gamed putting these kind of in order um, a little bit so like meaning like I already have the red the orange the yellow the green the blue the indigo are just about done. I just gotta fill in the blanks. I try to just stay as busy as I can. So, and these sets are gonna be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and magenta. So, y'all, yeah, bonus color. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look so pretty? Like, so pretty. Let's see. I'm so far away, usually I don't have my cameras. overtone framed so um, or I got it framed but I got a lot of extra material left the inner of the circles they're about 30 inches round and I've been doing permission so um, which you can see in my last videos the last two three two videos I'll link them down below where I've been doing commission and after this video I actually still have some commission to do but this um, event was like kind of in the middle of me working on these commissions but my point is, is that um, I'm gonna paint like two, maybe three, maybe four, I don't know, probably two or three um, of them and do the same thing that I did with my mason jar. Oh, I wanna wash it. What I did with the mason jar 
Um, but I'm going to do the sacred geometry um, tree of life. So I thought that, that would look really cool and would be another like neat and unique type of print from me. Um, so I'm probably gonna do that also. So this may be a very long video, but it's full of goodies. So I hope y'all are still watching. Um, I appreciate it if you are. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell because I'll have more videos of me working on commission. I have a really cool one coming up for a kiddo's room. Um, I'm not recording all of them. It's hard to pick. Maybe I should record all of them, but I already, I don't think I, I already have given some to their owners without recording. So technically, I guess I won't be recording all of them. But that's okay. Um, and ring the bell. So if you don't always get on to YouTube, um, if you ring the bell, it'll send you no a notification that, hey, I uploaded a video. Right now, I've been aiming for Sunday, Sunday evenings. Um, that seems to be a really good downtime for me when I like to kind of thumb through my phone and just before the week starts. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start working, and I think these last videos have gone up on Sunday. I miss a Sunday. Technology is hard, y'all. Like, well, for me, um, it was already, it just wouldn't go from iMovie over to YouTube, and I don't know. But anywho, hopefully I don't have that problem with this video, and yeah, thank you all again, and yeah, let's get to the other project. Alright, so here's my display wall. It's about a foot. I gotta fix that up there. And I'm gonna paint it white. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you updated.